All right, guys, welcome back to another video, Shaman J. So here it is. My new monitor is here. Now, I've actually had this for the last 48 hours. And so this is what you're getting ready to hear in my uh, feelings about this particular monitor. So after after using this monitor for um, for at least two days straight, it's been about two days going on three days, but let's just call it 48 hours. Uh, I've got some impressions of it now, you know. I, I just I was gonna label this a seven hundred dollar mistake, but it's actually not a seven hundred dollar mistake. This only costs seven hundred bucks compared to what I was com go consider getting, which is the Apple monitor. So, the monitor that Apple offers um, doesn't even do half the things that this one does. So this was kind of a no brainer to me, uh, but I just wanted to keep it all Apple basically for my office in here. Uh, but I was like, forget that. That monitor is not good. This monitor, on the other hand, does a whole bunch more for half the cost, uh, less than half the cost, probably. So first off, it is 32 inches, 4K, uh, and it is a smart monitor. Uh, just meaning, uh, let me hit the home button, and uh, it goes into uh, a, a, a completely different setup here. So this is your home screen. So here's the remote. Now the remote, as you can see here, it has a power button, a mic in the center there. Uh, you've got a mic button to the to the right there. You've got a scroll wheel with a, a button in the center. Uh, and then you've got uh, a back, home, and pause and play. Your channels or tracks of the right and volume on the left, you can actually push that down to mute it. And you've got four quick action buttons, which is Netflix, Samsung TV, which is actually live TV, which is good. Uh, and then you have Disney and Prime. So this remote, you can control it that way. But if you look here, you can see a little mouse here. I actually have a mouse hooked up. You can also hook up a Bluetooth keyboard as well. So I suggest doing a combination setup if you want to, instead of doing Bluetooth, because you can just plug one into the USB ports on the back, because on the back of this monitor, you have two USB ports, an HDMI and one Type-C. So like I said, I've been using this for the last uh, two days straight through and I do have some feelings about it and some reserves about it But it is going to stay it is $6.99 well spent for my usage because I think this is a great combination with the Mac studio or your MacBook Pro or whatever you want to use I initially started off using my MacBook Pro with this uh, and just plug it in a type C close the lid I've got my keyboard and trackpad there as you can see everything works great um, But there are some drawbacks in, in my opinion so a couple of things, when you look at the advertising of this, Samsung has a video out uh, of them using this. They have a video of them using the web browser. Now it does have internet. You technically can use this without, you know, <laughs> they, they <laughs> you can use it without a, um, like as a, just a standalone. I don't suggest that you do that. Based on my experience, I tried it out. The internet browser is not very good, folks. Uh, it is, to me, it's just gonna be for emergency purposes only. I don't know if there's a time that I would have to use their internet browser, but it is definitely not very good. Also, it comes with a, uh, a camera up there. You see that little white dot next to my camera up there, my anchor camera up there? Well, that little camera up there is definitely not that great. Um, it definitely can use some work. It's, it's very grainy. And with the way Samsung advertises it on a, on a Zoom call or whatever they're doing, video chat, um, it looks flawless. And I thought, wow, this is going to be great. Yeah, not so much. So that's another thing. The, the camera and, and the internet browser are not that great. And then the last thing I didn't like were the speakers. Now, the speakers go on either side of the monitor and they're on the back. They are just not very loud, folks. Um, let me go back to um, my computer here. I'm gonna turn off my Marshall Marshall speaker because that thing bangs. I'm gonna to switch to the uh, monitor speakers. I'm gonna crank it all the way up to 100. That's 100. And then I'm going to start up this video. So I'm here making a decision whether or not I wanna grab a Shelby. And this is a black 23 to have on the showroom floor. <clears throat> so as you can see here, this isn't very loud at all. And, um, but it's loud enough for a qu very quiet room. It's actually really nice. I'll show you the pricing and everything that I got on the other Shelby. Or 
right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. Been car shopping, and today, uh, the day. So, as you can see here, that that is a decent set of speakers. So, I'll go ahead and lower the volume, and then I'm going to turn my Marshall back on. And the, the Mac Studio actually has a speaker right there as well, but the Mac Studio speaker is super low. So, now I'm going to switch on the Marshall, and I'm going to go ahead and put this back a little bit where I was at before. And let's put on the Marshall speaker here. And let's see. What, let's just check this out. This is a black 23 to have. More sound, more full, more deep, more tone. And, uh, it's got carbon fiber everywhere. A lot of Shelby's on the lot. Now, over video, you know, you might say, well, Jay, I really can't tell. Trust me, folks, these speakers are not very loud. They are decent at best when it comes to, you know, using this for those speakers, trying to watch a movie or something. I don't recommend it. If you're going to watch some live TV, it's actually pretty decent watching live TV. But other than that, I just say hook up an external uh, speaker source and you're going to be good to go. Now, I'm going over the the monitor itself. I, I bought this as a monitor, but... Um, it is a smart TV, I say. Look at all these apps and everything I have here. You can see I, these are my installed apps down here. You, these are the ones that I have. And let me start by saying, let me talk, tell you that um, setting this monitor up, if you have a Samsung product already, like I use my S23 Ultra that I'm filming with to set up this monitor. And it was a matter of seconds. It just pretty much takes your phone and it's signed in to everything for me. It was a breeze. I loved it. It was so good. So I highly suggest that if you get this monitor, you're a Samsung person, so to speak. You have at least a Samsung phone that you're signed into because it definitely helps you out when it comes to the setup. Now, if you look here, you'll see Bixby and, and um, let me go back up. There's Alexa. There she is right there. Alexa and Bixby are your voice options. Why they have Alexa, I, I don't know, but I don't know if they're getting rid of Bixby, Bixby, but they have Alexa. And these are some of my apps here that I installed uh, because I signed it with my phone and then pretty much everything just came right over. It was so smooth, folks. Um, and it is just a great experience. You've got music you can listen to. You have your apps and you can even do, obviously, the uh, smart view here with your device. Weather, just everything. It, it's a smart TV. It is a smart TV. And it's this is where it beats out Apple's monitor by a long shot. It, it literally beats it out. It, it's just, it's no comparison. So this is like your home screen hub for when you just want to, when you turn it on, you'll be faced with these right here to give you some options and things that you want to choose from. And so if you, you saw me swipe earlier, um, the media tab is where it's pretty much default. So if you scroll up, it's a gaming hub. You can connect your controller and then get in here and game. Look at this. If you're a person who owns all these titles and, and or you play online or however it works, you are set. You can pretty much do everything on this here monitor. This is crazy right here. Now, maybe I'll connect a controller at some point because I don't really game, so to speak. But maybe I'll connect a controller and I'll give you some of that. But rest assured, you can game. Right on, right on the freaking, this is just crazy. It's crazy. My section is the workspace. So this is where you basically, you know, decide how you're going to use this. As you can see the camera situation there for your Google Meets, your Microsoft 360. Uh, obviously, you know, you add your bookmarks and your, your content. Everything goes here for when you're working. But you have, you have the option to do a split screen. And the split screen is cool. But the way they advertise it, they meaning Samsung advertise it, as though like it's going to be two full screens with different things going on. So when I turned it on, I put on the TV on one side and my computer on the other. It was these black bars at the top and bottom. It was horrible. I was like, this is totally not what they advertise. And again, also for the camera, if I didn't say it yet, the camera's not that great. They advertise it with these beautiful Zoom calls and it's not even on par with that at all. So anyway. When you get into this section here, you don't technically, I guess, need this. If you if you know you're going to use this as a monitor, you just plug it up. But just in case you come here and you decide you're not going to plug in and you want to share the screen or do it remotely, here are the instructions. They give it to you for PC and they give it to you for Mac. So this is Windows. It's super straightforward and to the point. 
This is how you do it. You can do screen share, you can do manual, or the easy connection with the download. Either way, this is not gonna be a hard wire, which means that one word comes into play, latency. I tested this out and the latency was off the charts. It was, it was so bad. I was like, I don't know why I'm testing this because I'm not going to use it like this. I'm not going to do a screen share. I did a screen share with my Mac and it, it was bad coming from someone who's used to just point and click. How about that? If it's your only resort, it'll, you'll make it work. But if it's not your only resort, you will, you will be frustrated with that. Now, connected devices is where the camera experience is. And you see it says camera experience right there. Folks, the camera is not very good at all. That is why you see my anchor on the top up there because I have my anchor running to the Mac. But if for some reason you needed to get on a call and, and, and you didn't have your Mac, if you're using a MacBook or something like that, any reason why you didn't have access to a camera and you needed to use their camera, folks, it is not good. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. Hold on one second. First off, it connects via type C and then it's got like this magnet type deal with it. And it's, this is the camera module. It tilts uh, like this and it has a little magnetic cover, which is what you saw in there initially because I keep it covered because it's not being used. But I'm gonna show you what this camera looks like and you're gonna say, eee. just check it out. Now, you're watching this through the actual camera so it's it's not there's a lot of glare reflection just trust me when i tell you this is a horrible camera now i guess if i was sitting a little bit closer it might be a little bit better to show it to you but trust me i tested it out and it is not great but again to solve for that i wouldn't be using that anyway that's a bonus to me and because i have my anchor going to the mac and when i'm on the mac with the anchor it's great it's a regular high powered 1080p camera. It's phenomenal. So in the workspace, that's where I live pretty much because I'm using it for computer purposes, but I've already watched TV. I've watched Netflix. It's, it's great, man. Uh, everything is good. So this is a computer. It's great. Everything's the way it's supposed to be. It's a computer monitor and it's a smart TV. It's phenomenal. It's good. Nothing going on with this. Beautiful setup. If you want to use it for any other streaming services, you're going to love it. Here's um, HBO Max or the new Max, I should say. <laughs> um, everything works fine, folks. The streaming services on here are absolutely incredible. They they look great. They look great. This is a, a, a must buy uh, if you decide you want to get, if you have something that, like if you're a Mac person, uh, I recommend this monitor. It's only $6.99. It does millions of things, if I'm being a little dramatic about it. It is a lot more than any of the Mac, the Mac monitors. Those monitors, you have to pay for it to tilt and move, and you have to pay for the matte screen protector on there, the matte glass, the nano coating or whatever. You have to pay for these things. So, yeah, that's, that's a no-go. That's a no-go. Spending double the price for something that, you know, you might as well just get this. Just get this. I really believe that I did the right thing by not getting the Apple computer, the monitor, because it was just it was a, it would be pointless to get that monitor and it doesn't even go up and down or t you know what I'm saying this monitor goes up and down it can rotate everything with this stand it's a metal stand razor thin monitor uh, it's about the thickness of the S23 Ultra it is very very thin for what it is. Uh, and it's a great monitor. So I want to go ahead and show you this one uh, firsthand here. This thing is is just great. Beautiful display. Uh, nothing nothing that I don't like about it other than those three. Those three things. The camera I don't like. The speakers are just decent at best at 100%. And then the browser was kind of like a bonus, just like the camera. Those those two are emergency purpose things. You know, the, the speakers, if I had to deal with them, I would. But I don't. So I have other speakers. Uh, so yeah, this, that's an easy one to me. 
it's an easy one. So it's your man, Jay. Hope, hope you enjoy, man. Um, I really am happy to, to, to get this monitor finally in and show it to you. Uh, it's a win, man. It's a win. Now, I got it for computer purposes, not uh, this is why I got it. I got it for this right here. Uh, 4K goodness. Uh, it comes default at um, it comes default at 1080p, which is just strange to me. Way down here, the default is 1080p, and it's super big with everything like this. I didn't like that at all. I personally love having it at the 4K. I think this is the way it should be. But you get a you get a glimpse of the model number right there. As you can see here, Smart M80C, and I like that I can use I can have both monitors. See, this is my computer, the, the monitor's mouse, and this is the computer's mouse. But you can see here, Smart M80C. The latest one from Samsung, it's, it's very good, man. Um, I like it. I have no complaints at this point. So uh, I'm pretty happy overall. And I think this was a, a smart purchase, no pun intended. Instead of kicking out that 1500 bucks for the Apple uh, computer, computer monitor, that doesn't really do anything in comparison to this. So really loving it. $699 well spent, in my opinion, with those few little things that I just didn't really feel too much. I'm happy about it. And... Hope to see you guys in another video. Mac Studio now in the house, new monitor, all set up, ready to go. I really like this setup. What do you guys think? You think it was worth $6.99? What do you think about it? If you have this already like me and you got yours early like this, or not early, but you got it already. It's not early. It came out already. I think it came out like two weeks ago. I think Samsung had it, have it, had it on their website for the last week or so or something like that. But nonetheless, if you have this and 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 or you were thinking about getting it, what do you think so far? If you have any questions, link them down below and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Shaman J, see you in the next one. Take care.